everyone, it's Nicole, and today I'm going to be showing you not one, but two science experiments you could try. If you're like me, you miss traveling around and seeing all the cool things around the world. So, today we are going to be making our very own volcanoes. There are going to be two different types that I'm going to show you right now. So, we are going to be making our own salt volcano and you will need a glass jar or clear drinking glass, a vegetable oil, salt, water, and you can use food coloring. It just adds some fun colors. And then you, we will go about the steps. I'll talk them through. And then we will also include this poster at the end. And then also we are going to be making our own exploding volcano. So make sure you are outside or in a place that you would be able to clean this up. Um, so you will also need a plastic cup or an, just another cup that could be cleaned. You'll need water, three to four tablespoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of dish soap. You'll need paint or food coloring, again, just for cool looks, and you will need some vinegar. And again, I will show you what to do there. So first, we will start with the salt volcano. So I am going to use a clear glass jar. So the first step is to pour about three inches of water into the jar. So I'll start with that. All right, so there's some water. Next, we are going to pour about one third cup of vegetable oil into the jar. So what's cool, does anybody know why vegetable oil, does it mix in the water or will it sit on top or bottom? And if so, do you know why it does that? So vegetable oil is lighter than water, so it sits right on top. It matches my shirt, but you can see where the water is at the bottom and then the oil is at the top. So next, if you wanted to add some color to it, I'm going to add pink or red like lava and I'm going to add one, I'm going to add two drops of food coloring. Let's make it really colorful. One, two, oh, the food coloring dropped down on one, kind of sitting on top of the oil. So it's either maybe having trouble mixing or it's lighter, I'm not sure. Next, you just shake salt on top of the oil while you count slowly to five. Let's see, I think my shirt matches the oil. So let's see what happens. Oh, there goes some red. What is going on here? It looks like it sits on top of the oil, then when it gets too heavy, it drops down into the water. Let's see how high I can make my salt volcano. So what looks like it's happening from my observation and my guess is that when the salt, the salt sits on top of the oil, but when it gets too heavy, it drops down. And then there's some air that's also getting stuck, so bubbles are coming up. Here, let's see, I'm gonna add some more. Let's see if you can notice it. You know. So again, you're just going to need a cup. I'm using a glass jar, so I'm going to be careful, but you could use a plastic cup. You're going to need water again. You're going to need 
baking soda. Uh, you'll need some dish soap. You could use some food coloring so that it could look really cool. And then vinegar. I had some apple cider vinegar, but plain vinegar works as well. So you're going to fill your cup about two thirds full with water. Oh, I think that's a little too much. I'm gonna dump some out, leave some room. All right, next you add the baking soda, dish soap, paint, or paint or food coloring. So I will start with the baking soda. It's about three to four tablespoons of it. Great. And then I'm going to add my dish soap and it's about one teaspoon of dish soap. Then I'm going to add my food coloring. Again, I chose blue for the ocean water. I'm gonna do one drop of it. All right, so next you have to mix it. All right, I'm gonna mix it up. I really like the blue color, it's really pretty. All right, I'll set that to the side. And now, I'm gonna sit back a little bit, and I'm going to mix in my vinegar. Let's see what happens. So there's our exploding volcano. And add some more. So you could keep adding vinegar or you can switch out and try other colors. It's whatever you would like. So now yeah, there are all the bubbles at the top. There's the blue lava underneath. So want to make these volcanoes for yourself, you could please send pictures or videos to an accessory and we would be happy to watch them and show them off or you can tag us or use the hashtag play with an accessory. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.